Hey there, it's Casey Dimon, TaxSellAcademy.com, and welcome to this week's Tax Sell Tip video. So I get a lot of questions and perhaps even some confusion amongst new tax investors when it comes to clearing titles. I've got plenty of trainings on what a title cloud is. What you need to understand is when a property goes through tax foreclosure, the chain of title has an abnormality in the eyes of title insurance companies. In other words, it opens them up to potential liability. This means they won't provide title insurance for those properties unless that title cloud has been cleared. You can do this through a suit to quiet title, through a tax foreclosure certification, and in some instances by having the former owner sign a deed over to you. All of these, of course, take time and cost money. But with title insurance, you can sell the property at full market value, just like any other type of real estate on the conventional market. That title insurance provides literal insurance for a buyer that there are zero issues with the chain of title. Without title insurance, you can still sell the property. However, you will be selling without title insurance and with a quit claim deed. This means two things. Number one, the first one is you won't be able to sell at full market value since it does not come with title insurance. If you're selling at full market value, buyers expect title insurance because that is the industry norm. The second is that many retail, end user, owner occupant type buyers will not be interested in that property at all because they feel there's a chance their investment might not be protected or it might just seem fishy to them, which results in a primary audience of investors. Ideally, you would sell to those investors where they could then go out, clear the titles themselves, and they could still make a few bucks as well. So if you are spending a million dollars, you are probably going to want title insurance policy in place so you have as much protection as possible. I sure would. But if you're spending $1, then you might not care as much about that title insurance policy. I mentioned this to say that there's a moving threshold for every single buyer when it comes to whether or not they will buy something without title insurance. There is no below this number and you can sell without title insurance and above this number, you must have title insurance. There is no line in the sand as a lot of it can depend on the buyer's risk tolerance. And something else to mention is that the larger the discount, the more risk a lot of people will take. So keep that in mind. Generally, what I have found are properties that are being sold for two or three thousand dollars or less can generally be sold without having title insurance attached to them because clearing the title for those properties oftentimes costs prohibitive. So if you cannot find buyers for those types of properties, then you might want to reconsider purchasing those in the first place because again, you are not going to be able to afford title insurance and still make money unless perhaps you get them very, very cheap, like $100 or $200 and you're okay with tiny margins for most people they probably don't need to take that approach. Now, if you're talking about properties from the three to five or $6,000 range, you can generally still find buyers for properties without clearing the titles that will accept an as-is title through alternative marketing type methods. From the six to $10,000 range, your buyer pool will start to get smaller and smaller, and even more so the higher you go. Once you get over, say, $20,000, it's going to get very difficult to find too many buyers for properties that are being sold without title insurance. They want that title insurance in order to protect their investment. But keep in mind that at that price point, you usually will have more margin and more room in your budget to allow you to then go out, clear the title, and still make money. So not only is there a point where you're going to have fewer buyers, but you're also going to reach that same point where it actually makes more financial sense based on your margins to just go ahead, clear the title, and sell that property at full market value instead of providing a discount to try to sell it with a quick claim deed to a very, very small pool of buyers. So my suggestion is for the cheap properties, explore creative marketing methods to sell the properties without title insurance. And then as the values increase, and hopefully your margins do as well if you're buying correctly, begin to explore which option is best with the expectation that at a higher price point, you're going to eventually need to clear the title, which of course you can do and then sell at full market value. Hopefully this helps. Obviously there's quite a bit more to this business than just buying here and selling here. And title clearing is one of the more complex issues 
but it's certainly something that can be learned and dealt with very easily once you know the ins and the outs. If you are looking to learn more about tax sale investing, including the ins and outs of tax sale titles, make sure you head over to our website at taxcellacademy.com. Take care and make it a successful day. Bye-bye.